Selamat pagi dari Bali. Today is a good day to have a good day, not only because I'm alive and I get to be breathing in this body, but also because I'm going to be visiting Nusa Penida for the first time since moving to Bali and having been here so many times. I haven't yet visited that beautiful island that I've heard so much about, so I'm about to get picked up by my driver at my place. So just before we get going to Nusa Penida, I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about deodorant because that's something I'm going to need a lot of today. Today's video is sponsored by Native, which is a personal care brand that creates hygiene products that are better for your body. As you may know, I'm very conscious about what I put onto my body. Our skin is our largest organ. It absorbs everything we put onto it into our bloodstream. For a while actually, I've been looking for a good deodorant, so I was so, so happy to discover Native's classic deodorants that are vegan and cruelty free and free of aluminium and parabens and sulfate. If you look at the ingredients on Native's deodorants, it's readable and simple and I absolutely love that. So I started off with Native's Build Your Own Deodorant Pack and it's super simple. All you need to do is pick three of your favorite scents. So these are the three that I chose. I have a eucalyptus and mint, lavender and rose, also coconut and vanilla, which I gotta say is my favorite. It smells like cake. I love how unique these smells are. I actually tend to sweat a lot and I've shared this before but I've always been quite self-conscious about that. So I've been using these for the past two weeks and the fact that they actually work for me says a lot. But today you can save an extra 33% by clicking the link in the description box down below and using the code JASMINE20. And of course you get free shipping too so get on it. It actually works. Genuinely love this deodorant. It is my all time favorite now. Let's put this on and let's get going to Nusa Penida. Hi. Hi. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Uh, sudah sebulan. Oh, sebulan. Iya. Di mana belajar bahasa? Di sekolah di Melbourne. Asli Australia? Saya lahir di Australia, tapi ibu dari Cina, bapak dari Polandia. Oh. <laughs> Sekarang ke Sanur? Iya. Berapa Jadi, lama ke Nusa Penida? Dari Sanur, Nusa Penida 40 menit. drive from Chenggu. I've arrived at Sanu Port now and we have around half an hour to wait before we board the fast boat towards Nusa Penida. So my guide just gave me my pass for the day. There are lots and lots of people here and there are lots of fast boats as well. I think there's around at least 15 different ones. The boat I'm taking is called Ganesha Express. If you are interested in taking this trip, I booked it via Airbnb and I can leave a link for you in the description box down below. I wake up at 5 30 a.m. this morning and it is near 8 o'clock now so my face is still waking up. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it though. I really feel like it's gonna be a great day. I'm so excited to explore Nusa Penida. Yeah. should take around 45 minutes to get to Nusa Penida. Usually I don't get seasick, I have before, so we're just gonna have to see. I don't have any seasickness at all. I've never sat on the top deck of a fast boat before, so it's gonna be a fun experience. You see everyone else getting onto the other boats there, which was a little bit of a struggle. It kind of hurt your feet because the sand is very rocky here. I'm 
I will be your driver for today. This island actually new destination for the tourism in Bali. That's why later on we still see some part of broken road. On this island, the population around 65,000 people. We are tropical. We have two seasons. There is rainy season and dry season. This month it's rainy season. The first destination we will going to Clinking Beach. After a fairly quick fast boat ride actually, it was more like half an hour, I actually fell asleep on the boat ride, got up quite early. But we are finally here in Nusa Penida now and we met our driver, Putu, who explained a bit about the island. Hi. So we are going to be doing just a day trip around the west side and our first spot is Kalinking Beach. We're just going to stop here briefly. We have quite a few places to visit today actually. Really nice day so far as well. I think it's really good that we come here early as well because it can get quite hot here during the day. And something that I already observed on the car drive, the religion is predominantly Hindu. It really is more like an untouched version of Bali. So when you drive by the houses and the villages, there are still temples in the housing like you find in Bali. Decorations are all the same. They speak Balinese here. I didn't know that. So we've made it to the famous Kalinking Beach now. I've seen this in so many photos before. It's like the classic Nusa Penida photo. And seeing this in real life is incredible. Like the colors of the water is turquoise and blue. So clear. It is actually stunning. I can't believe it. I can't believe I've actually here. It's beautiful. If you do want the classic steps photo on the cliff, you got to wait in line there's like a queue there there are monkeys here too so be careful i'm still very scared of monkeys so i can't get over it <laughs> amazing so this is how they'll take photos for you standing on this tree <laughs> This is our guide today, Eddie. Hello. <laughs> you live in Nusa Penida or? No, in, in Bali, in Ubud. Ah, oh, in Ubud. Yes. Yeah, I love Ubud. <laughs> Thank you for carrying my bag. Yes, okay. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and next we are going to Angels Bilabong. Bilabong and Broken Beach. And Broken Beach. Yeah, Ooh. after this. Let's go. <laughs> it is definitely getting very hot right now. I think it's just because there's no wind at all, so there's no breeze. It's very humid here. That's okay. We're still gonna go explore. We have arrived at the next spot now and the roads so far have been quite smooth and paved, although when we were coming to Angel's Billabong it started to get very bumpy like this as you can see here, which is very common in Nusa Penida because it's still a developing island. But I'm excited to see this place. So the steps to get down here are quite steep, there are a lot, but we've come to Angel's Billabong now which is right there and it's a lovely photo spot as well. It is a little bit windy, absolutely stunning here. There goes Eddie and his photography skills and the rocks are actually very interesting. It's really cool how they are shaped and formed because sometimes actually it's low tide now but the waves can hit the top there too which is wow. walk around for a bit here and even though it is quite rocky and you do need to be careful when you walk I think you can still definitely walk around in sandals oh there we go like I am today just be super careful and wear light clothes because it gets very very hot Here behind me now is Broken Bay or Broken Beach, one or the other. It's stunning and you can see there's an arch there which makes it so unique and beautiful. The colours are just incredible, like the blue there is just incredible to be here and see this in real life. Wow. 
So we have arrived at our final destination for today and this place is called Crystal Bay and it's another beach on the west side of Nisipanita and before we came here we actually had lunch at a little restaurant. I ordered the nasi goreng vegetarian because I am obsessed with it. It's actually one of my favorite Balinese foods and there are also two other very lovely ladies on the tour with me. They're from Texas in America so I had a lovely chat with them and yeah we are just relaxing here for the rest of the afternoon before we have to get back to the port to get our boat at a specific time because it will only leave at one time if you miss it then you're gonna have to stay here overnight oh it's actually raining right now it started raining so when we arrived it was like blue sky quite nice and now the dark clouds have come and it is raining I'm going to be completely honest I know I'm always very positive in my videos and I love sharing the beauty of the world I always encourage you to be optimistic and choose to see the good in everything however it's also okay if you travel somewhere and you don't really enjoy it that's totally normal so I think today I've been a little underwhelming because I think there's just so much hype about Nusa Penida and yes it is very very beautiful I love the nature here and the oceans it's incredible but for example this beach here there are just a lot of people it's not exactly that relaxing I went swimming before as well so I feel very refreshed but the current is quite strong too and it's quite windy I actually really needed this cool change because it's been so hot today so I wouldn't say there's anything too special about Crystal Bay but if you do want to visit it's definitely worth visiting if you're here on this island very heavy rain. Thankfully I have this umbrella over me. You can rent this for 150 Indonesian rupiah. Smart move dress and smart move. Alright, the storm passed now and that definitely added some excitement to this trip. And a message I wanted to give to you today as a reminder is something that I received as a download yesterday and I actually shared it on my Instagram stories and that reminder is we get in life what we have the courage to ask for. So if there's something that you want, ask for it. Whether it's asking someone or asking the universe, asking God, declare what you want and you will receive it. So for example, if you want a raise at work, then ask for it. If you want a relationship, then ask to go on a date with someone. If you want to write a book, then ask for a book deal. We've got to go and ask, take action on the things we want to manifest into our life. Thing is, you are so worthy of having what you desire. You deserve it. And if it's a no, then something I like to always keep in mind is that it's either not the right time right now or there's something even better on the way. I actually recorded a podcast episode yesterday about how to manifest anything. Another aspect I talked about is that love attraction is all about self-worth as well. We receive what we feel we are worthy of. You are worthy of asking for what you want. You have nothing to lose. So I'm just going to chill here, listen to a podcast or some music for the rest of my time. To be honest, it's quite sticky just because it rains, so I feel a bit like I just need a shower. I'm out of water too. So it is getting dark and even cloudier now. I think it's going to rain again. So we are heading back to the port now. Then from the port we're going to get the fast boat back to Sanur and it should arrive maybe around 5.30. No, 5.30? Yeah, actually between 5.30 and 6 p.m. And then maybe a bit of traffic back to Chengdu. Something I always repeat to myself in times where maybe I don't feel the most comfortable when traveling is I get to be here. So I get to travel. There's so much to be grateful for and you know just gotta have some fun I'm trying to get to the car and not step on this <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay. thank you 
good morning again it is the next day and yesterday was actually quite a long day I just stopped vlogging because it just actually ended up raining for the rest of the evening I was very very wet soaked and quite tired to be honest from Sanor to Chenggu took around one hour because of the traffic so I actually came back at around 6 30 p.m. it was actually a full 12 hour day first thing I literally just hopped into the shower on the way back I just felt quite uncomfortable and I wasn't in the best mental place to vlog but today is a new day I'm feeling fresh and great again and I thought I'd just share with you a few of my last thoughts about this tour and Nusa Penida. So the tour itself was quite great and I really enjoyed it. The driver was friendly, the guide Eddie was friendly, the car had aircon which is a must. I do think it was quite well organized and also Eddie our guide took photos for us as well. I didn't have to worry about any of the practical things such as transportation, the ferry tickets, everything was organized for me. All I did was pay for the tour. As for Nusa Penida, I think the nature there is absolutely beautiful, especially Kalinking Beach. And then as for the downsize, I do think Nusa Penida is very, very touristy. I do think it is quite hyped up, at least I felt that way. So it was a bit underwhelming in a sense. If you are interested in visiting, I still recommend that you go visit. It's definitely very beautiful, but just keep in mind that it also is very, very hot there. So be prepared for that and bring lots of water and sunscreen. And also the boat that I took, I was sitting at the top and for the entire boat ride in the morning and in the late afternoon, there was a very, very strong petrol smell. You just know that it's not good for you. And then just on my experience, because I went during rainy season, of course it rained and that's all good, but it did leave you feeling very sticky and humid. And you know, when you're in the shower for too long and your hands start to go wrinkly, that was me the entire boat trip back just because of how moist and sticky and icky it was. I'm not complaining at all. It's just a unique experience. There's not much internet connection there either, which I think is quite a good thing. So you spend less time on your phone. And as for getting around, a car is great. Although if I went with someone else, I would definitely prefer to take a scooter because you have much more freedom and you can spend as long as you want at different places. So these are just some of my honest thoughts and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you liked it, do give it a thumbs up so I know and subscribe if you haven't yet joined our beautiful community for more upcoming vlogs coming your way. So right now I am about to go and actually buy my own a helmet so I have one when I ride the scooter and then I'm going to go do a photo shoot wearing Balinese clothing so stay tuned on my Instagram for photos of that and I'll see you in the next video take care beautiful friends I appreciate you keep following dreams and know that you absolutely deserve and are worthy of anything that you desire take care